Good morning guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, my name is Ali and welcome to my channel. I'm very excited about today's video because I love doing fashion hauls and it is a new season, it's officially fall. So I thought it was only time to share with you what I'm gonna be wearing for this season, the fall season, and then also like slightly into winter. Um, but yeah, a lot of these pieces you have probably seen on my Instagram and TikTok. But I just wanted to share them with you all, tell you where they're all from. Everything will be linked down below so you can shop them. A few of these things are from past seasons because I'm trying to rewear clothes and not constantly buy new wardrobes for every new season. Um, but if I can't find the exact piece, I will link something similar. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into it. Okay, first things first, my favorite things about fall are the jackets. And I have four jackets I want to start with. The first one being my all-time favorite most worn piece of clothing you probably already guessed it again if you follow my instagram um but my oversized blazer from oak and fort literally the best thing i've ever owned um you can thrift blazers for sure you can find them for like ten dollars at the thrift store in the men's section but there's just something about this blazer that i'm obsessed with um i got it in the size large i wanted it big oversized they do have this in other colors it is last season, but they probably still have it. Um, if not, I'll find you a similar one. I just feel like everyone needs an oversized blazer in their closet because it just makes any outfit look good. My next jacket is a jean jacket. This one is from the latest scoop, and I did not like it when I first bought it. I didn't I had this in my closet for like six months before I even put it on. Because I went for an event, um, I got like a credit, I got the jacket, and then I was like, eh, like it's okay, but Lately I've been styling and I don't know what what happened but like all of a sudden I'm obsessed with it and I wear it every day. Um, it is again size large. All of my stuff is very oversized. That's just how I like it to be comfortable. But yeah this jacket I uh, definitely grew on me. I was actually shopping yesterday and I saw such similar pieces at H&M and Zara. So if you guys are looking for something similar you want a really nice oversized denim jacket definitely look at Zara. But yeah I feel like it's such a good statement piece as well and if they're warm they're warmer than you would think um in comparison to like a blazer and again for this fall i have found myself leaning more towards darker denim than lighter denim um i also just feel darker denim looks more expensive or like better quality so yes i'm very obsessed with this dark denim jacket okay my third jacket is from the one and only my favorite store princess polly it is this pleather um, oversized leather jacket. The thing I really like about this jacket and the reason um, I wear it so much is how lightweight it is. Obviously it's only the start of fall so it's not like it's freezing cold yet and I feel like you can still overheat really quickly at the beginning of fall so I love how lightweight it is. It's not heavy um, and it's just the perfect piece to throw over literally anything to like elevate the style. Mine is in the US 12 which I'm pretty sure is the biggest size they have um, and I would recommend this like or if you're smaller than me like maybe even down a size or two but yeah I just feel like the bigger the better definitely when it comes to leather so yes this one's from Princess Polly and I love it okay and my last jacket I have for you today is my Matilda Jerf dupe jacket I actually had this in my last fashion haul but I'm bringing it back for fall but it is from Old Navy it is a raincoat from the men's section and if you are a Matilda Jerf fan or you've looked at Jerf Avenue, you will know they have this exact jacket um, on their website. So that one is like $200. This one was $50. So I highly recommend it. I got it in a size small because it's a men's. So it's a little less oversized. But again, because it's men, it still has like a really nice fit to it. Um, and I love it. And I just love the colors too. Very neutral, very simple. Um, but it's a very good jacket for fall. Okay, so that's all my jackets. And then after jackets, I have knitwear, including the one I'm wearing, which I will start with this one. Um, this one is from Zara. It is a size large. As you can probably tell on all your social media channels and Pinterest, I feel like stripes are a vibe. Um, and I really like this one. Really cozy. I love the quarter zip. And it just goes with everything. So yes, this one is from Zara. They have a whole bunch of other styles, not just this one. They have it reversed where it's like white with the black stripes, um, which is the one I wanted, but they were sold out. But I do really like this one. Very comfy, cozy, but definitely size up because this is a large 
and I wanted it even more oversized which it's not as oversized as I thought um, but yes definitely size up but this I think is my current favorite knitwear out of all of them but next again from Zara I have this beautiful green like knitwear turtleneck I got this last season and I've gotten so many compliments on it I think it's the color I feel like it's a really pretty green um, quite like timeless wore it last season gonna be wearing it this season and it's just like really nice it's not too oversized so you can like tuck it in with a cute skirt and boots tuck it into jeans um, yeah I really love this piece I feel like it's also fun too to add a little bit of color to your wardrobe I obviously don't have a lot here um, but when you find like a good stable colorful piece I feel like you'll have it forever and then you can always reach back to it when you want something a little more for your outfit my next two sweaters are both from H&M this sweater is one of my most asked pieces like I get a question on this every single time I wear it and the weirdest thing is I bought this at H&M in store and I could never find it on the website. I don't know what it was. Um, I don't know if it was like an only in store thing, but I will try to find a similar one. But I think my favorite thing and what people really like about the sweater is the shape to it. It like comes in at the bottom and at the sleeves. So it gives like a frumpy oversized look, but then still flattering because it tightens at the bottom. I don't know, but I get questions on it all the time. It is from H&M. It is a size large, I believe. Um, but yes, I will try to find something similar for you because I get so many questions on this. And then my second sweater from H&M is this really nice white one. Very soft, fuzzy, um, very comfortable. Nice v-neck. The problem with this sweater, and I don't know if it's like picking it up on the camera, and I literally just washed it, so do not think it's dirty, but um, I, anytime you wear a scarf with it, so for example, I wore this scarf with it, and the pills from this scarf get stuck. I don't know if you can see like the orange pills. Hopefully you can't see it because it looks like it's dirty but I promise you it's not. Um, so I have to constantly pick them up and like clean the sweater but it just pills really easily. So it's like not the best and maybe I don't recommend it but my favorite thing about H&M is their sale rack and at this time of year go to their sale rack. They have so many sweaters for like 20-30 bucks and that's where I got this. So that's why I love it because it was a good deal and if you ignore the pills it's a really cute sweater. And my last sweater, again, is from one of my favorite places, Oakenfort. It is just this really nice, simple black sweater that is really great for, like, work, going out, going for dinner. It's just very versatile. I love the button detailing, and it's just a very good quality. I really like Oakenfort for their quality of clothing, um, and I have this one in a size medium. I was at Oakenfort yesterday, and they have some of the cutest stuff right now. I want it all so bad. Like, there's this jacket my birthday's in two weeks and I saw this jacket and I sent it to my mom and I was like please if you wanted to get me a birthday gift this is what I want like I was so obsessed with it I'll put a picture over here and I hopefully in two weeks I will post a vlog and I will be wearing it okay after my knitwear we're gonna move on to some pants and I'm gonna start with my most worn pair of jeans everyone needs a good baggy comfortable pair of jeans these ones are from Aritzia. They are the Boyfriend Levi jeans. Let me take them off. Um, but they are so comfortable. Thin denim, so they're not like tight or uncomfortable or like hard to move in. Um, I have them in a size 28. And they have like a slight oversized bagginess to them. If you wanted them even more oversized, definitely size up. But I love them. I've had these for over a year very cute comfortable and they um i don't know the proper jean terminology but they like sort of taper in at the leg so sort of like a straight cut um or not a straight cut maybe it's a straight cut but they're more flattering i think when they're tapered in at the leg so yeah i love these jeans and i wear them all the time okay next we have the aritzia effortless pants which i swear everyone owns um these again are one of my most worn pairs of clothing sometimes even more than the jeans because they're a lot more comfortable um but yes the aritzia effortless pants they have them in a million colors i hope these pants last me like five years considering the price point they better but i was sharing these on tiktok the other day and i said in my tiktok that Yes, these jeans or these pants are really nice, comfortable, and really cute. But you do not need to spend $160 on a pair of pants. 
I have a pair of linen pants that are black from H&M that were like $40 and they look identical. So don't feel the need to buy them. If you want to invest in a really good piece of clothing that I do recommend doing, then I would get these. But again, if you're not in that position, go to H&M. Okay, next I have one of my most recent purchases that I've already shared in the vlogs, but it is these pants from Abercrombie, the really cool like striped, um, they are PJ pants, but we wear them not as PJ pants, um, but they are so cute. I, I don't know if I told you the size in the last vlog, but I got a size large, which I kind of regret doing, probably gonna have to get them tailored, but honestly, they're just such cool, effortless, like cool girl pants. I don't know that's the vibe they give me they were on sale but i'm so sorry to say i'm pretty sure they're sold out but i will find you a good dupe i mean you could get the ones from drift avenue but that would be really expensive but i will search the web for you and find you a good similar pair that you guys can get if you want a pair but and, and i'll check maybe they aren't sold out on that combi or maybe they came back but i love them and they're just such a fun pant to style so yeah you should get some Moving on to skirts, which I feel like I'll only have a few weeks left of wearing them, and I only have two. My first one is this black skirt from Artless Forever. I get questions on this daily, and I have to say, it is the best skirt I have ever got. It was gifted. I, I did not buy it. It was a PR package, but I'm obsessed with it. Um, I have a size medium. It is so perfect. I love that it doesn't have a slit. It's the perfect mini skirt and it's comfortable. I don't know, I, I just rave about the skirt all the time. It is a little expensive, I think it's like $100. But I think I will have this skirt forever. Um, so if you wanna invest, I highly, highly recommend this skirt. And my second skirt, believe it or not, was thrifted. I also got questions on this. It is like originally from Gap, but I got it for $6 at the thrift store, which is like probably my favorite find yet. Um, it's just like a really cute cargo skirt. Yeah. I love wearing this with like sneakers and an oversized knit. I feel like it just gives a cool girl vibe. But yeah, I thrifted this. Don't um, skip over the thrift shops. I feel like you can find so much, especially this time of year. Like there's just so much potential in the thrift shops. Those are my clothing pieces that I've been obsessed with and will be wearing for fall. The next thing I have are scarves. And I'm a huge scarf girl. And I'm very excited to share these with you. This one's actually brand new. But I'll save that for last. Okay, my first scarf. Literally an iconic scarf. You know these like big wool ones that you get from... I'm pretty sure you get them out of Ritzia, Oakham Fort, Acne Studios. That's the one I'm thinking of. And they're so expensive. Yeah, these were all under $30, $40, $30. Starting with this one that I got last summer, or last summer, last season, it is from Aerie. It is massive. You can see, like, I can't even, there's the bottom. Um, it is so cozy and comfy. I'm obsessed with it. Everyone needs it. I shared it on my Instagram last year, and it was probably my most, like, a lot of people ask for stuff from, but not a lot of people will, like, go and buy it. This was my most, like, asked, and then I saw people wearing it, and, like, they were tagging me. So, the best scarf ever. So definitely run. I think they probably have them. Again, this was last season, but I will find a link for you. The next scarf I have is from Zara. I got this in the sales section. And my thing with scarves is like, if it's a something that's slightly out of your comfort zone, go for it. Like this is not, orange is not a color I go for. But I just thought it was so different and I feel it would be such a good statement piece on a simple jacket so I bought it it was like $20 I love it I'm obsessed with it I'm so happy I bought it and I've been on the hunt again for even more scarves so that's why I'm probably just gonna keep keep buying scarves but this one's from Zara and then the one I just bought yesterday I think is so cute a little out again a little out of my comfort zone but I think buying the pieces that are out of your comfort zone again make your outfit so much cooler um, but 90% of the reason why I bought this scarf is because of this hat. Like how, just picture it, how cute would it be together? Honestly, I think it would be so cute. I can't wait to style this. I'm going on a trip in two days and I'm going to bring this and style it there. But yes, I love it. The colors are so pretty. And even though like it's a little more out there, I don't feel like it's too out there. It's like more tamed. 
not too crazy but yeah i'm really excited to wear this the next thing i have is a hat i think people don't wear baseball caps enough especially girls maybe guys do but i don't really pay attention to their fashion um i feel like baseball caps are so like chic like oversized blazers sneakers even like leggings and a baseball cap is such a good look so i think getting some good staple baseball caps again really elevate your style and are so always good to have and protect you from the sun because we did already talk about this i will actually show you it because i didn't even tell you where it's from this was from zara though last season um but again i think it's just so fun having colorful accessories spending money on accessories for new seasons is something i don't mind doing because this hat was like 15 dollars but again it's so cute so fun as to your outfit um and i just feel like you can't really go wrong so yeah this cute little hat um was from zara okay my favorite thing in the world are my purses and when it comes to my purses i am sort of like the if it's not broke don't fix it because i have a good black and brown bag and i swear it's all i need i have bought other black bags and other brown bags but i always go back to my two favorites so i am probably not going to be buying any new purses for a long time because i'm obsessed with these so yes this one's from Peta and jane this one is from princess polly i will link them again but yeah i just love them and they're just perfect okay wait i lied i actually did buy another bag the other day um but it's different it's not a shoulder bag i got this crossbody bag from oakenfort and it looks exactly like the one from lululemon but i feel like this one's a little more like fashionable um but i really like it, it has two little compartments and i love bags where your hands are free like it's so much more enjoyable going shopping doing stuff where you're not like constantly like lifting it on your shoulders so yes this is a beautiful new purchase of mine from oakenfort um they're having a sale right now actually so go check them out but yes this is my new addition to my bag but again um i feel like i will have this forever and can wear it with pretty much anything the last thing i have for you are my shoes i'm going to be wearing all fall winter i have five pairs um but yeah okay first ones are uggs honestly you can't go wrong i know it's a trend but it's a good trend i also live in canada in ontario where it will get minus 20 to minus 30 and these keep my feet warm so yes they were a trend but they are so comfortable so warm and i kind of need them because i basically live in the north pole one thing though before i move on is if you are not someone who doesn't live in like a place where you get crazy amount of snows and freezing temperatures then just get the dupes like i, I have friends with dupes and you would never tell the difference like it doesn't say uh, oh well it says them on the back but i don't know like you don't need to spend 200 dollars on a pair of shoes if like you can get them somewhere for even cheaper and you don't actually need them for like the warmth and stuff like that so yeah just get the dupes if you don't actually need the real version speaking of buying dupes oh i bought dupes for the boston birkenstocks i was not gonna go spend 200 dollars on shoes that were a total trend like if you would have showed me these last year i literally would have said they were hideous and i still kind of feel like they are hideous but you know i was influenced but i got mine at walmart for 15 dollars so next year when they're out of style and no one wears them i will not feel bad for buying them because i did spend 200 dollars. i only spent 15. um but yeah there's a few places i think like amazon you can get dupes the gap have really good dupes actually i saw a tiktok on that but yeah just get the dupes okay next i caved and got loafers um they have grown on me so much i remember last year i bought a pair of loafers and after wearing them for like a day i was like no these are so not me i don't like them but then i returned them in the rest of the fall winter spring season i was like shoot i really wish i had loafers so i got some and these are from h&m they were only 40 dollars I wanted to start with a cheap pair before I like invested in a good pair because again I was 100% convinced but I really love them I'm gonna be honest they're not the most comfortable but they're good enough um, I still have to break them in more but for $39 you can't go wrong okay my last two pairs of shoes are sneakers um, my first pair I got last year for my birthday actually if you've been following me for that long um, but I love these shoes these shoes were very expensive they were 250 dollars and i know that's literally insane but they still look brand new like 
they do not have any crazy scuffs i mean they're a little dirty from wearing them but like they're in such good condition the shoe like inside is perfect like i love them i wear them everywhere and they're so comfortable and they're like old men walking shoes so they are very good for your feet so if you want like a trendy dad pair of shoes i could not recommend these more and my last pair of shoes and ones i showed you in a vlog like two vlogs ago are my shoes my boyfriend got me for an early birthday gift um but these are the adita gazelle in the black i love these shoes they are so comfortable have such good support i love the suede look i don't own any black sneakers so i feel like it's just a good addition to my wardrobe i can wear them with so many things and yeah i'm honestly really happy with them and they're not that crazy expensive. They are, I think, like $110 or $15. But yes, I'm just really happy about them. A very fall shoe, so yeah. But that is everything I have for you guys in today's fall haul. I hope you enjoyed everything. You can probably tell I'm trying to like really minimize my wardrobe and get like good everyday timeless pieces that I can have for seasons like for multiple seasons so like that's why I'm happy that if a lot of this clothing is not old but like I've had for at least a year or so because I'm just proud that I'm building a more timeless wardrobe is the best way to put it but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video follow me on Instagram and TikTok so you can see how I wear everything and I style everything if you have any questions about any of the pieces just comment down below um but yeah I love you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video bye